Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. This is your Bible study that is fair trade, and it's environmentally and socially sustainable. Today we're looking at verses 9 and 10 in Psalm 96. 9 and 10, you'll notice, come after the second division. The second division was give. Give unto the Lord. The first division was sing unto the Lord. The second is give. We have walked ourselves into his courts. So we're standing in the temple. And notice that we have a request now. This is another one of those commands or calls to come to the Lord. O worship, it says there in verse 9. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Now you'll notice here that we have this call to action, O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. This just goes right hand in hand with everything else that we've had. We had, O sing unto the Lord, there in verses 1 and 2. Then the commands show forth his salvation, declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all the people. Here we have give unto the Lord, Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord glory, do his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts so we know that we're being summoned to worship. But the psalmist takes away all doubt here in verse 9. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Why do you think it says there the beauty of holiness? Well, we know that without holiness, no man will see the Lord. So he's calling on us to come to worship the Lord And he's saying that holiness is a beautiful thing and that as we worship, we are to worship in holiness. You know, that's the the covering. That's the the gown, the robe that we're to wear. You know, the saints in the book of Revelation wear these bright white linen robes. And so here we see that the beauty of holiness is to be adorning those who worship the Lord. We're walking into his courts bringing an offering We come in the beauty of holiness. And holiness is beautiful. Fear before him, all the earth. Now, we've had fear once before, haven't we? There in verse 4, he is to be feared above all gods. Now we get to apply that. You know, we were talking about reverence in verse 4 and how reverence needs to be applied and how we need to fear him. Now we see that the fear or the reverence of the Lord is appropriate in worship. We'll worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, fear before him, all the earth. Oh, and notice that this is not just the people. This is everybody. So all creation now, everything, rocks, trees, hills, birds, fish, (laughs) it's all being called, you know, all the earth. But here in a minute, we're going to see that it's not just the earth. It's all of creation. The world is called here. Verse 10, say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. Notice the comparison there with declare his glory among the heathen. So we're to declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among the people. And here we have say among the heathen, the Lord reigneth. So his glory, his sovereignty is a subject for us to share with the world. And the world is mentioned then in the second phrase. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Now, we're going to find that there's a parallel statement to that last phrase, he shall judge the people righteously in verse 13. So when we get to verse 13, we'll compare those two. Okay? So join me tomorrow. We'll look at uh, 11 through 13. Compare the two as we close out Psalm 96. See you then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.